Hello YouTube viewers, today we're going to be doing another ARC um, how-to. I'm kind of just getting back into it, the how-tos anyways. So, like I've said before, this has probably already been done, but I'm just going through it for myself, mostly. So we're going to be doing painting. So, painting is very interesting. Basically, you can paint, as soon as I get up there, you can paint a lot of things actually. Um, we got some water skins we're going to need. We got some stuff we can actually paint and some painting tools. We've got some colors themselves and we've got some um, berries and things to make the paint. So uh, berries are what we're going to be using. Different combinations mixed with water, charcoal, sparkle powder, um yeah so let's get into it one of the key things we are going to need is a cooking pot a cooking pot you can craft uh, you get it pretty early on in the game so if you're looking at your ingram list it is one two three four five down and one two three four to the right and you, as you can see here, it requires that you research the campfire first, which is higher up in the engram list. The recipe for the cooking pot is stone, thatch, wood, and flint. So you don't really need uh, too much. It's all basic items to make. Really simple, really easy to do. So you got your cooking pot set up. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take berries. Uh... Pretty much the berries that you have, just go ahead and grab some charcoal, some sparkle powder. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna provide a, a link to the actual crafting recipes for the dyes themselves. Another thing you're gonna wanna take is water skins or have water skins available. Let's just use one. We're gonna keep it the basic colors. Um, when you look through the list you'll see what you need to mix and stuff like that so I'm not going to get into that you guys can go ahead and, and read up and figure out what colors you want to make so grab your cooking pot we're going to our inventory we've got our berries charcoal and if you don't know just in case if you're just getting started and you're not quite sure you want to find bushes like these and you just want to collect the berries from the bushes themselves and as you can see I got uh, one zoo berry, one tin berry. So just as an example let us and then I use thatch for the cooking pot um, it seems just to make the simpler make the process a lot simpler so let's just make a basic red and I'm gonna do one item at a time and in case you guys didn't know to transfer items um, a single item is control T. It should be. So yeah, one item, control T, and then control T to go back. And if I wanted to do half a stack, I believe it is shift T. And there we have half the stack. So let's go ahead and put that back and give ourselves 12 instead. And then you want to put a full water skin in the fire. Don't start it until you're um, done. And then for red, we want to do, sorry, we want 15 uh, tinto berries. And then we want two pieces of charcoal. One, two. And then we're going to go ahead and light the fire. And the fire will only take um sorry the dye will only take as much water as it needs you won't lose the water skin and there we have our uh, red coloring dye and our water skin has gone down so we'll take the water we'll take the dye i don't know what's what's wrong with me tonight i'm having uh speech issues we'll take the dye and we'll add it to the colors and that's fine and then if we wanted to make let's say um, 
Do I have any more water skins? No, because I only took the one. I only took the one, but I've got like three of them somewhere. So let's get some more water. Water is key. You don't need water skins. You can use um, canteens or, or things like that. As long as there's a water source. And let's say we wanted to make um, just a simple yellow. We want to do 15 of the armor berries. And then we want two charcoals. And we'll go ahead and light the fire again. And pretty soon, we should get some uh, yellow dye from this guy. I don't know if that rhymes. Does that rhyme? Yellow dye from this guy? It doesn't matter. You're going to need your um, paintbrush or your spray can. Okay. So to make a paintbrush, to research the paintbrush, it's only level five. It's the fourth one, two, three fourth one down two to the right there's your paintbrush and to actually make it and then let's say there's a lot of stuff you can paint in this game guys it's it's redonkulous so let's go outside the walls and we want to left click the wall and then let's say we wanted to do yellow and they've broken it up a lot of the things have different regions and stuff like that so as you can see the wood turned yellow or we can make the actual stone yellow or we can make the front face of the wall yellow as soon as it turns and then we'll go dye item it'll now be yellow now say we wanted some different colors we'll go um, red And then we'll make the back side of the um, wall red and dye item. And then if we wanted, I don't really have blue. Let's go with blue. So let's make the um, wood, the back bracing blue. And then if we go out, you see yellow. Oh, this jumping is retarded. Um, red in the back, sorry it got covered up guys, and the wood itself is actually blue. Um, same for like dinosaurs, we go over to the dinosaur, and we click them, and then we can just change the color on the brush itself, and we can actually um, write or do designs in the dinosaur. So I'm going to put an R for Robot Gamer. And then let's do a little bit of yellow. And G. And then we'll close it. And if we go around, there's our um, RG. So that's to paint the dinosaurs. Other stuff we can paint is pretty crazy we can do um let's grab from this guy here just an example we can paint guns our um saddles armor uh flags we even got a painting canvas so if we wanted to paint the assault rifle we just i like to put it in my quick slots <clears throat> and then as soon as we touch or drag the color you see these things are um, highlighted green that's pretty much what we can do with this color so let's drop it on the assault rifle and as you can see I've already been messing around a little bit and we can actually dye the item so if you want to do region 1 region 2 region 3 it's actually broken up into different sections so let's do 6 blue um, four red we'll do three brick which looks a lot like red to me and then we'll dye uh, region two yellow and let's do region two yellow again so there you have your painted um, weapon and you're good to go and if we actually equip it you'll see that it's 
changed all of its colors. And the same goes for the uh, other things we can drag and drop on. So let's put the flag in there just so it's easier to um, deal with. Oh, we'll put the armor on. And then the canvas right there. And then the saddle. So if we want to paint the um, saddle, again, drag and drop right on there. Different regions. And we'll do that one red. Uh, and then we can change this guy to yellow. And then the saddle actually changes itself. So let's do a little bit of the armor. Again, we'll just drop the color onto the armor. And we'll do region one red, dye item. And then we'll do region five. Let's do region five uh, blue. And if we close it off, you can actually see our guys got um, blue and red armor. And that's pretty much for all the armor. Um, I'm just doing basic things. Let's plant down the flag like so. And then we take out our paintbrush. And then we can go ahead, paint the different colors. And we'll do that one yellow. Oh, we gotta change the, and then dye item. And then down here, it's, they're usually pretty good about telling you um, what you can and can't do. Um, to paint, shift plus left mouse, shift and uh, right mouse in case you want to just uh, do designs instead of solid colors. And then we'll close it off. And then there you have your um, painted thing. You can even go ahead and paint the storage boxes if you want. So if you want to paint our storage box red, we'll dye it, and then we have a red storage box. So now we've got our canvas, which we can put on our walls. And then we want to, we can paint it. So let's do R and a G. Close, and we've got our RG. So another thing other than the paintbrush is the spray can. So what we want to do is apply the color that we want. So let's go with um, blue. And as you can see, it's full of blue. And we can actually go ahead and spray paint what we can spray paint. A lot easier, a lot quicker than the actual um, paintbrush. And there's the ones we were doing. So we can actually just go along here, paint these guys. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, remember, all these recipes that I'm showing you, they're, they're all basic recipes. You can do like mixed coloring and stuff like that. Um, not too hard, real simple. If you need anything more explained, just let me know. Happy to do it. But until then, thanks for watching. Sorry it took so long to get this out there. And I will see you.